Today, I'm going to introduce you to a masterpiece of dramatic cinema and the only in-universe Shakespeare sequel that Shakespeare didn't write that I'm willing to accept and acknowledge. Hamlet 2? The deuce, correct. Steve Coogan plays failed actor turned volunteer high school drama teacher Dana Mars. 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 Teaming up with his pupils and with the support of Elizabeth Shue as herself, or at least as a fictionalized version of herself. You, you were wonderful in leaving Las Vegas. Oh, thank and you. So fabulously funny in Adventures in Babysitting, not forgetting Cocktail with Tom Cruise. What is he like? He seems totally great. What are you doing in Tucson? Oh my God, I'm freaking out. The cast goes on to save their high school drama program by putting on an original masterwork of theater written exclusively by Marges himself, Hamlet II. My original work that's going to save drama, the thing I've been working on for the last 47 billion hours. Oh, is that what you were doing? I thought you were just having a nervous meltdown. They face a number of hurdles, from an establishment that cannot see past their own 40-yard line to parents who feel they need to protect the integrity of art because who made them the judge and jury of art? We merely expressed our absolute distaste for a sequel to what is arguably the greatest play in the English language. Shut down that piece of shit play. In addition to being a masterwork of dramatic cinema, Hamlet 2 has a soundtrack that not even Greece can stand up to. Must forgive your father the abuse you suffer. You know, sometimes even I feel like my father's forsaken me. Really? Good luck. Thanks, Jesus. You got my cell number? Yeah. Okay. My dad finds out what I've been up to. He's gonna crucify me. Raped in the face. Hamlet too, baby. Any creative person will tell you, you gotta go a little crazy to make great fucking art. 